the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in jesus we have entered in the second sunday of advent the time to make straight our path to welcome the messiah into our own life and to accelerate our preparation to celebrate the birthday of jesus so being aware of all our shortcomings and failures let's prepare ourselves repenting sincerely about our failures let us ask pardon I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask the blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah Console my people console them says your God Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and call to her that her time of service is ended that her sin is atoned for that she has received from the hand of the Lord double punishment for all her crimes a voice cries prepare in the wilderness a way for the lord make a straight highway for our god across the desert let every valley be filled in every mountain and hill be laid low let every cliff become a plain and the ridges a valley then the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all mankind shall see it for the mouth of the lord has spoken go up on a high mountain joyful messenger to zion shout with a loud voice joyful messenger to jerusalem shout without fear say to the towns of juda here is your god Here is the Lord coming with power 
his arm subduing all things to him. The prizes of his victory is with him. His trophies all go before him. He is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his breast, and leading to their rest the mother ewes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people, his help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and give us your saving help. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from the heaven. Let us see, O Lord, you, your mercy and give us your saving help. The Lord will make us prosper and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and gifts as your saving help. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. There is one thing, my friends, that you must never forget, that with the Lord a day can mean a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not being slow to carry out his promises, as anybody else might be called slow. But he is being patient with you all, wanting nobody to be lost and everybody to be brought to change his ways. The day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then with a roar the sky will vanish. The elements will catch fire and fall apart. The earth and all that it contains will be burned up. Since everything is coming to an end like this, you should be living holy and saintly lives while you wait and long for the day of God to come. When the sky will dissolve in flames and the elements melt in the heat, what we are waiting for is what he promised the new heavens and the new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without sport or stain, so that he will find you at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord the beginning of the good news about jesus christ the son of god is written in the book of the prophet isaiah look I am going to send my messenger before you. He will prepare your way. A voice cries in the wilderness. Prepare a way for the Lord. Make his path straight. And so it was that John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. All Judea and all the people of Jerusalem made their way to him. And as they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. 
John wore a garment of camel skin, and he lived on locust and wild honey. In the course of his preaching, he said, Someone is following me, someone who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to kneel, kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus, all of us know that we find it difficult to admit that we are wrong. We have so many reasons to say and many justifications to do just to cover up, cover up our sins we have committed in our life. The problem is that sacred scripture says, he who covers his sin will not prosper. So, do, so that are we going to do now? What are we going to do to, to have the repentance within ourselves? One of the saints said, there is no holiness without repentance. For we begin in sin and move to holiness by repentance alone. The words repent or the repentance and repented are mentioned nearly 100 times in the Bible. There has been a lot of misunderstanding and confusion over what the world called repentance. The Greek word for repentance is known as metanoia. The metanoia is a biblical term for repentance or complete change of heart which turns one away from sin to serve the living God and live differently from the rest. Repenting is turning. Repenting is change. Repenting is living differently. Today's our gospel speaks about change and about the true conversion. So John the Baptist says in the gospel of today, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And during this four week of Advent season, we are told to prepare ourselves and preparing the way for the Lord and making straight his path so that he may come in and dwell within for the true nature of repentance and the grace of God to work upon us, our mind has to be set in three ways. Or in short, to make it meaningful, the season of Advent, the coming of the Messiah into our life, we need to prepare in certain ways. One is, we should have the conviction. Where our sin is admitted by ourselves, or in, in repentance, we not only see ourselves as sinners, but we recognize the fact that we have sinned against a righteous and a holy God. That's why St. Paul says, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. So, first of all, what we need, a conviction that we have committed something wrong against the love of God. And second thing that we should have in our life to celebrate season of Advent in a meaningful way is that contrition. Where sin is hated. To hate sin is to love God. In true repentance, there is not only the desire to escape the consequences of sin, but to be away from the act of displeasing God. And the third element we need to have in our life to make it meaningful the season of Advent or our preparation for the coming of the Messiah into our life is about the third one is the conversion. Where sin is being abandoned. Repentance means avoiding the sin. It is not enough just to turn away from sin but turn to God for salvation. 
and to conclude that true repentance involves regression or we are sorry and for the right reason this means that we honestly accept the wrongs that we have done in our life second one repair or restore this means we are willing and able to make up for the damages or harm that we have caused for our sins or to make our restitution or pay for the damages third one is reconciliation we come back to god as our father and to each other as brothers and sisters above all changing ourselves for a better relationship between god and men and again the renewal this means a change within us has to be reflected in our behavior this is an ongoing and never ending process thus let us make our path straight for the coming of the messiah going through our renewal going through the conviction about our own sinfulness at the same time knowing who we are let us make a straight path so that the messiah may come into our life and the season of advent become so meaningful and joyful in our life god bless you Let's proclaim our faith i believe in god the father, father almighty, almighty creator of heaven and earth, and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was, was conceived, conceived by, by the holy spirit, spirit born, born of, of the virgin mary, mary suffered under pontius pilate was first crucified died and was buried he descended into, into hell on, on the third day he rose again, again from the dead he ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body the life everlasting amen prayer of the faithful in this season of hope let us pray to god our father that he may be alive and visible among our sons and our response is lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that the church may be loyal to the holy spirit and implement the reforms that god's people may show to the world of today the true face of jesus christ let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the leaders of nations may listen to the voice of the spirit at work in the world and look with wisdom and in dialogue for solutions to end wars civil strife and exploitation of nations by nations let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that in our christian communities we may be concerned about the poor among us and that we may treat them and everyone as brothers and sisters in christ let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sultanate of oman with its ruler his majesty sultan haitham bin tariq al said may be a place where all live in peace and harmony and his majesty all the ministers and the citizens be blessed abundantly let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. pray for all our personal intentions lord jesus be our joy and our hope raise us up when we are down and be near to us your people we ask this through christ our lord amen, amen.
pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church be pleased to our lord with our humble prayers and offerings and since we have no merits to plead our cause come we pray to our rescue with the perfection of your mercy we ask this through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every day to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we all acclaim are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking to this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.